this can't be. What have they done? How could they? This is it. This is the end. I... I have to do it. No, Polka. It is not over quite yet. We must not give up. What are you doing? After all, this is my dream. Final chapter, Heaven's Mirror. What the, where are we? It's the field of flowers near Tenuto. How can that be? This place is supposed to be a flower field? Yes, it is. And this is the place where it all began. Where I met you, Polka. The place where this whole dream first started. Which is why it's such a fitting place for the dream to come to an end. The time has finally come for me to confront my own heart. I must make my choice now. Whatever happens, I'll face the challenge before me. Don't you understand? You're nothing more than imaginary characters I've created in my mind! Frederick, what are you saying? What's wrong with you? Forgive me. I am truly sorry, Beat. But it seems I'll be unable to offer my help to you any longer. When I am defeated in this battle, an undeniable truth will be revealed, and this fleeting dream will slowly fill with color and light. Only when this ordeal has finally come to an end, will my soul at last be permitted to leave my physical body. So then, is this the path you've chosen for yourself? It is. This is my dream. And I must be the one to set things right. This world we're in, and you, Polka, must be freed from the tangle of our twisted destinies. Now, let the test begin. We'll see whether I... No. Whether my spirit can become a lance, able to pierce through all of you in battle. We'll see if I'm truly such a weak human being! Don't you all understand? This entire world is my dream! Is that your magic? Yo! <laughs> Carry them away to the riverside, to the water's edge. Nimbo Stratos! <laughs> Not bad. 
Nimble Stratos! It takes but a moment. Don't worry. Orzel Bialy! Lost in the shower! Thanks! Good! There! See the afterlife? Applaudissements, Sonic! Edge. Nimbo Stratos! Lost in the shower! Thanks! Good! Start the fire! See the afterlife? That should do it! No good! It takes but a moment. Don't worry. Orzel Bialy! There is no one else. I am the only one here. Applaudissement, Sonic! How pitiful. You soulless creature. Float adrift at the boundaries of nothingness. Phantom Way! Shooting star! Did your stomach drop? Lost in the shower! Good! Heat play! Did I overdo it? Orzel Bialy!
this is for the best, dear Amelia. Thank you, Frederick. But... I... I'm sorry. Polka? Stay back. Allegretto, please forgive me for not telling you about this. If I had told you what I was going to do, there's no way that you would have taken me all the way here. It's just that I remembered. I remembered a while ago what the path is that I have to take. Polka, what are you doing? First Frederick and now you? What in the world is going on? Don't you see? Frederick just gave all of us a gift. The most precious gift there is. What the heck are you saying? Can somebody please explain to me what's going on? Polka, what exactly is it that you're planning on doing? It's something that my mother told me about when I was a little girl. And now I finally understand it. I know what she meant. It is your fate to go into the sea. Yes. It is my fate to go into the sea. It's the only way, the only way the tremendous waves that threaten the people of this world can finally be made calm. Wait a minute. What does that mean? Most people live their lives turning their backs on things too difficult to face. Ignoring what hurts you eventually becomes a habit, the natural thing to do. If we only allow ourselves to see what we want to see, we just end up fooling ourselves more and more. But eventually, we cloud our vision so completely that we become blind to the small truths that are all around us. The same way the twinkling of the stars is blotted out by the glare of bright city lights. The truth was always there in my memories. Thank you, Mom. For everything. But I'm ready now. And I know what it is that I must do. Polka, don't! Please stop! Oh, Beat. I want you to know. Your photographs are so wonderful. They're full of memories that I don't ever want to let go of. Yeah, and hey, I promise I'll take even more. If I had any choice in the matter, I'd never want to give up those memories. Of this journey, and the time we've spent together. I know this is hard for you to accept right now. But someday, someday we'll all meet again. I'm absolutely positive. The time has come for everything to be settled. Was this fated to be? 
Was this always my life's purpose? No. It's a decision I'm making of my own free will. This is something that has to be done. Polka, what are you doing? There is a place. A place where I can make a real difference. Now that the world is covered in darkness. It's a place that I have to illuminate. With the shining light of the Astra that lies sleeping within my heart. Don't do it! We'll find some other way to save the world! You don't have to carry all the burden by yourself! done to change things does this mean dying was the only thing polka could do there wasn't any way we could save her why did polka of all people have to suffer like that what the hell is wrong with this world damn it You! You come barging into our world out of nowhere, then just leave when you get tired of it! This is supposed to be your dream, right? Well then why couldn't you do anything? No. That's not it. It isn't a dream at all. It's real. And I don't know what. But I have to do something! That's true. Perhaps this is no longer just a dream. Have I awakened? At long last. F Frederick? Why? The dream was at an end. Oh no. No, it can't be. Not Polka. Thank you, everyone. I know it didn't last very long. But really, this was the most fun I've ever had in my life. If I blow him a kiss, I wonder... Will it reach him up there? I hope so. I really do. Emilia, I have never once forgotten you. Not in all the time that you've been gone. 
But who would have thought that my memories of you could create a world as vibrant and alive as this one is? It's something I'm sure not even you ever could have imagined. It was such a stunningly beautiful world that I found myself going on a very long journey through it. The adventure I shared with the wonderful companions I met in this world of dreams has left me with countless memories that I can even now recall with perfect clarity. Amelia, if you could hear me say these things, I wonder, would you just laugh at me? I happened to make the acquaintance of a young girl in my dream. A girl with an astra that glowed more brightly than any other in this world. A girl who was forced to give up her life at the age of 14. Whenever I spoke with her, it was as though you were with me again. I began to wonder if she might not in fact actually be you, who have lived for so long in my memories. But I see now that I must have been mistaken. You see, she was... Polka was someone who insisted on walking her own path until the very end. Amelia, she lived just as you would have had you been given the chance to do so. Even now, it seems I lack the necessary conviction. When I was playing the piano in Paris, even though I existed in reality, I was also living a dream. And now the dream that I just had seems even more vivid than any reality. Amelia, if it had been you, perhaps you would have been able to arrive at the answer sooner than I. But as for me, I am at long last able to make a choice, though it's taken me quite a while to make it. I will depart the reality where you and I composed memories together, and make the world of dreams where Polka lived my reality. I hope my choice does not bring you pain. You must know that I will never forget you, after all. Yes, for even though my form may change, these feelings are something that will not fade away. But there is one thing that is certain, and that is the fact that we can never return to the past. When I play the music written down upon a score, the notes of the past disappear from my mind as if swallowed up by the darkness. And then in contrast, the notes that are going to be played in the future resound clearly as bells inside of my mind. If there can only be one world that a person believes in, then for me, that world should definitely be the piano. Moving ever onward, a world in which you can never turn back. Yes, belief above all else proves existence. Echoing in the eyes, brilliant to the ears, sweet to the touch, and smelling of warmth. Unable to be appreciated by the senses. Astra, only the light of one's astra can truly determine one's world. My dear Polka, in this world that has been set free from my dreams lies the path that you have chosen to follow. The time has come for me to once again choose the path I believe in.
Death is a reality that is far too real. But I've walked this dreamlike journey within a dream so that, once and for all, I could accept it. And now, the time has come. Everything shall come to its finale! Mr. Chopin's time of death, two o'clock in the morning. Mommy, why are there waves in the sea? Well, darling, there are waves because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just can't sit still. Is that true? Really? Really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! What about the puddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves, too? I won't let you die, Polka. After all, you've only been alive for 14 years. A 14-year-old girl must live her life. The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about people as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts. Just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, and power. When the sun is out, they hide in their buds and then open their blossoms only when it is truly important. Drawing in even the faintest amount of light, they decisively embody it. And in doing so, reflect something that people can never see. They wait for the moment when the world is trapped in darkness and then blossom with glowing light. Terrible conflicts. On the grassy plain, they paint a picture of the star-filled night sky that was blotted out by the city lights. I guess. Isn't it pitch black around you? Isn't the world covered in darkness? If something like that now, what could happen? Come. It's two o'clock in the morning. The time for you to blossom. Come. Because when you do, those big waves will become calm again. Do you remember? It may be difficult you said it was to up to me whether I wanted to call them Heaven's Mirror. You'll bring joy to the person who means the most to you. Really? I'm still allowed to choose, am I not? Then I'll do it! Well, then I shall make my definitive choice. Right now. Comparing seawater stood up by that the flower of the sun resembles you. That flower that boldly challenges the darkness. I choose to call it Heaven's Mirror. Oh, Mommy, I'm sorry, but I 
think someone's calling me. I see. Then you must have met the person who is the perfect match for your Astra. Well, he's the person that you choose to believe in, so I'm sure he must be wonderful. I did so want to see you on your wedding day. But now, I suppose the only thing I can do for you is to tell you this. Come back someday and do your best. Okay, Mommy. I'll see you later then. I have become a bit more like the seawater. When it's stirred by the beauty of the moon. Thank you, Polka dear. Please, be happy. It's Polka! She's... she's glowing!
Eternal Sonata. Wow, what a game, right? Honestly, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm so happy that I showed it to you all. What an, just, what an amazing story. A story of acceptance. Frederick had to accept his sister's death in order to save Polka, and I just think it's so beautiful, the way the story is told, and... Yeah, I'm very emotional right now because this is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm just so glad I showed it to you all, but we're not done here yet. Um, tomorrow, I will upload the bad ending. Yes, there is a bad ending in this game. And after I upload the bad ending, well, you'll see what I'm going to do for the future of my channel, alright? And I hope you all have a fantastic day and finish watching the ending, okay? The Shape of Life One day the caterpillar asked the snail, Mr. Snail, you know many things. Could you tell me what kind of shape is the shape of life? The snail nodded and answered, Well, Mr. Caterpillar, I think that maybe life is red, like a ripe tomato. The caterpillar laughed happily and said, No, Mr. Snail, I didn't ask about the color of life. I asked you about the shape. The snail nodded and pondered, and then he answered, Well, Mr. Caterpillar, I think that maybe it has a sweet scent, like a pot of honey. The caterpillar let out a disappointed sigh and said, No, Mr. Snail, I didn't ask about the scent of life. I asked you about the shape. The snail nodded and pondered and thought some more. And then he answered, Well, Mr. Caterpillar, I think that maybe it murmurs like a babbling brook. The caterpillar finally broke down in sorrowful tears, shook his head, and said, No, Mr. Snail, I didn't ask about the sound of life. I asked you about the shape. The snail nodded and pondered, and at long last he finally answered, Well, Mr. Caterpillar, I think that maybe it has a sharp, sweet flavor, like a juicy cherry. Losing his patience, the caterpillar grew very angry and said, If you don't want to answer me, then Fine. I'm not going to ask you any more, Mr. Snail. Goodbye. And with that, the caterpillar turned around and went home. When he was gone, the snail nodded and said, Oh, Mr. Caterpillar, you already knew the answer. Happiness, disappointment, sorrow, anger. These are the sights, smells, sounds, and tastes. Life can take on many different shapes.